<laughs> well, I, I, I guess we're just starting now. Uh, welcome to the Puck Junk video podcast. Uh, I'm Sal Barry, and you know Tim Parrish, who is chugging uh, Mountain Dew as we speak. Hey, it's Diet Mountain Dew. There's no do, sugar in here. Do the do, you know, and I am, I am, uh, I am drinking a Monster Energy drink. See, this is healthy. There's no sugar. What you're drinking is going to kill you. Yeah, well, if anyway. uh, if if the COVID nineteen doesn't get to me first, right? Well, maybe, maybe the monster would kill that. Who knows? So we're gonna we're gonna talk about Upper Deck uh, Ice from uh, 2019 20. Uh, we each got a box of ice. We're gonna do a uh, a dual box break slash pack war or box box yeah, war. Yeah. A box battle. We should call box it a box battle. battle. Box battle, box right? Box battle. So, um, so we're gonna notice do nothing's been doctored. It's still in the plastic. We are still going in the plastic. To, we are going to open these right here live. Right. So, um, anyway, so what uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we'll just give you the the, the basics on this set. Uh, actually, why don't we why don't we go ahead and start opening these, and then I can kind of just talk about the. Uh, uh, you know, that it's uh, about a hundred bucks a box. You get five packs, you get um, five cards per pack. Uh, each box is guaranteed to have one autograph, two ice premier rookie cards, um, one relic or exquisite, and one sub zero. The set came out uh, June 17th of this year. So it was a late season. Well, I can't really say late season release it was a um what do we call this the pause it was a, a pause release a pause release right i don't want to say it's not like an all this is like the longest all-star break ever there you go we got five packs now are we going to do like the top pack second pack third pack fourth pack are we going to do them in like the batting order that they that they appear in or how do you want to do this um i don't know i haven't i i didn't break the seal on mine i'm going to do that now but Here's the irony. I'm going to open my box of Upper Deck with a Panini box opener. That is funny. You like that? Yeah. So, oh, that didn't work. I feel like what? we've just offended a bunch of people by doing How this. How do the breakers do this? Man, it's not working. Practice. Oh, there we go. I got so, it. So, wait, I'm sorry. When I was unwrapping this box and talking at the same time, what were you doing? Um, listening to you talk. Like normal, captivated. Yeah. Okay, I got it. So it opens. Oh, it opens from the top. These I are know, weird boxes. Weird, These aren't right? normal. These aren't normal. Well, actually, my I opened mine from the bottom, but whatever. All right, whatever. Well, that means they're going to be backwards. No, just make sure that Carrie Price is facing towards the towards the screen, or to, you know. Towards yes. have carry yeah have carry price facing the ceiling when you hold okay. the box up okay and then that way you pull the one that's on the top all right so we're gonna go top to bottom top to bottom yeah let's do this right so all right what okay I can already tell this one doesn't have a hit I'm not a pack searcher but I could just tell that this You're does not here. have a hit in it so um what are we gonna do why don't we just start why don't we just start easy um better scorer better scorer right better scorer so, Better so we're going by total points then, or most goals, or what? I don't know. We'll argue it over. If right. I get Connor and you get Crosby, we'll we'll uh, actually we'd probably agree. All right, here we go. Off we go. All right. So do, do I just look through them and then? So um, so here's. Here, I'll show mine first. All right. So we've got uh, Alexander Barkov. Yeah. Or, Sa or Sasha, as his friends call him. Um, we got just Barry Kokinemi from Montreal. I like the shininess on the back. That's pretty cool. And we've got the Invisible Man. That's or, my I favorite this, player. I think this is a uh, game-used piece of ice. Is what this is. Um, so we got that. Oh, and we've got a Ice Premier's rookie card of Max Jones from Anaheim. 
it's numbered out of 499. So that would make this because it's a Ice Premier's rookie. And this set has 100 rookie cards in it this year. So the Ice Premier's that are 499 are going to be level three cards. So he's a level three tiered rookie card. So that's mm. cool. Um, what else I got? Okay, two more. I got Matt Barzell and Kata Hot. Nice. So there we go. Interesting thing is some of one of these was green. The other ones are blue. So what does green mean? Is green something different? I, I don't know. There's always a parallel. All these crazy parallels. Now, yep, I know we said a parallel, one per pack. I uh, I know we said I, I know we said um, uh, top score, but I think I'm gonna win this pack anyways. Just you'll see when I get to the to my, through my cards. So I got this super shiny uh, Taylor Hall card. I guess this is the parallel. Is it blue or green or what color? It's like a is blue. It's like a blue. Blue is regular. Oh well, it's not blue blue though because I have ones that are blue. Well. This one seems like like a almost like a rainbow color, because when I hit it in the light, it does like a rainbow effect. Hmm. Uh, and then I got here, uh, Steven Stamkos. Orange, that's pretty cool. Orange or gold, but I think he would be the best scorer in this pack. But yeah, I think that I think that like if you if if one gets a uh, a special card in their pack that maybe trumps it. So I got this Kale McCarr uh, Ice Premier. What? With a uh, jersey piece. What? Let me see here. Nope. Wait, I'm sorry. That's Connor Timmons. Oh, God. I thought it was Kale McCarr. I saw this. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, cool. It's Kale McCarr. And I'm like, oh, nope. Connor Timmons. Okay. So now wah, I'm like, wah. who's Connor Timmons? Yeah, exactly. I what saw number? What I number saw is the that card? C and I saw the... Uh, I saw it because it's... Okay, so if you you can't really tell, but like... It's hard to read the names on these because it's oh, uh, yeah, kind of yeah, shiny. Back up there. Yeah. Well, I'm showing the viewers right at home who are going to be watching this later. Um, so. Uh, yeah, it, I, I, it's, I, I got you. Wow, I feel like a dork. But what? you know what? Uh, not as bad as the time I thought I got a Matt Sundin jersey card, and then I looked again and realized it was Matt Stajan, and I'm like, Matt Stajan. Like, who the heck is Matt Stajan? I was like, I saw the Maple Leafs jersey, and I saw Matt, and I just I just glanced at it really quick, and I'm like, oh, my God, Matt Sundin. And then they're like, nope, Matt Stajan. Ugh, whatever. Okay. What's the, num what's the number on that Timmons? Is it 101? Oh, yeah, Connor Timmons. Uh, no, it's numbered IPJCT, so I guess it's a uh, – Oh. It's not part of the main set? It's a pretty awesome card. I wish it was Kale McCarr, but okay. Then Leon Dreisaitl. Okay. And I also got Matt Barzal. So really, we're tied. We're tied there. We're we're, we're tied one for one on on uh, uh, how many Matthew Barzal cards we have. So but, I, I pretty pretty much think you won that pack. Yeah, I don't know. I thought this was Kale McCarr. I think I should just be disqualified for for for. Uh, Does. Uh, for for being unable to read the name on a hockey card. Does a Max Jones rookie ice premier trump a Connor Timmons jersey card? Depends who ends up having the better career, right? Yeah, I guess so. I got lots of jersey cards of guys that never really did anything. But you got Stamkos, and we said we said the highest goal scorer. So yeah, and well, I we just that... said score, but I think we agree that Stamkos is is the best there. Yeah, because I got ninety six points, sixty two points, a goalie, and thirty four points. So that's all. I, that's all I got. You're just looking at the last season. Yeah. Oh, and then I also got dry sidle. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't want to do math. We'll just agree that I won that one, even though I should have been I, disqualified for being a. I agree. A dork. You won. You got it. All right. So second pack. Here we go. You can go first this time since you won. Yeah, I, that's. Yeah, I was gonna do that. Just trying not to use my teeth here. All right, so. By the way, those blue ones are the, uh, they do look rainbow in the light sort of way. Okay. Oh, we didn't the, set a criteria anyway. Because of the shine. 
Okay, I think we should go with um, uh, tallest player. How about that? Tallest player. Okay. So I have Evgeny Malkin. I thought you. Were, I saw the yellow. I'm like, oh, he's got Charo. It's over. <laughs> Jespery. I don't want to pronounce that name. Kokiyemi. That's who I had in my last pack. Only oh, mine okay. was green. A, a green Eric stall, and he's okay. in green, so he kind of blends in with the background. Yeah, that's weird. He's camouflaged. Um, the blank from Sweet. Dick Tracy. If you remember that movie, there was a character called the blank. Ooh, a sub zero nice. card of uh, Max Jones. So I think we're tied in Max Jones cards now. We are. This one is numbered out of 999. And then uh, Carter Hart. Carter Hart. We are tied in Carter Hart. So we're tied in Kokiyemi, Carter Hart, and Max Jones. And Matt Barzal. And Matt Barzal. Wow. Similar boxes. All right. So here we go. We got Mark Shifley. Okay. The blue one. We've got Flower. I believe that's the blue one also. Yes. Yep. We have another Mark Shifley. Only this one is not blue. It is Ice Cube is what this parallel is called. So I don't know if you can see how it's mm-hmm. got a weird shine to it. Yeah. That's called Ice Cube. Not to be confused with the wrapper. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I have a hit in mine. We got a Joel Farabee jersey card. And that's numbered. Nope, it's not numbered. Joel Farabee with a nice orange pad. I don't like that picture. It really looks like it's washed out. Mm. It's like not a good quality picture. You can't really see it on the on the webcam, but. It's not a very good picture. This one is also a IPJJF. So it's an IPJ. So it's one of the patch cards. And there we go. I met, I see your Stamkos and I raise it another Stamkos. Wow. So So I hope so, Carter Hart is like six foot seven so I can just win this and we can move on to the next pack. No, he's six two. Malkin is 6'3". I didn't know he was that tall. Shifley's also 6'3". Jespery... How do you say his name? Kotenyemi. Kotenyemi is 6'2". Oh, here. Eric Stahl is 6'4". He's going to win. Dang it. He went again. Max Jones is 6'3". So, all right. I think think my shiny green... um, Although you did get the hit in that pack, but I don't know. It did. And I also got the, the cube one. Hmm. I think you got the better pack overall. Cube. So these are all apparently there's one parallel card in every pack. So you're either gotcha. gonna get a you're either gonna get a green, an orange, uh, the ice cube one, or a red one. And the reds the reds are numbered out of five. And of course there's black ones too, but those are one of ones, so Good luck with those. So they're basically going to stuff so many parallels into these packs that it's going to be hard to even build a base set of 50 cards. Um, yeah. Yeah. 100 base cards was hard enough. Now it's 50. All so. right. I got a good feeling right. about this pack. A really good feeling. So what are we going with here? Best goalie? Okay. What are we? All right. What's the criteria for that? I don't know. We'll, we'll argue about it later. All right. Overall, we're going to go with best overall. Yeah, overall, you know. You want me to go first or you want to go first? Yeah, you can go first. All right. So we're already looking because I already showed the front card. We got Miro Heiskinen. Okay. Regular. Looks like the regular blue one. We've got uh, Jacob Truba. Mm-hmm. Green parallel. Really like the way the light hits that. That's pretty cool. It's like kind of like an oily foil finish. I do like Ooh. when they contrast when the uniforms contrast with the shiny background. It looks really nice. So I'll do the other base cards here before I show this one. Um, we got Jonathan Quick, mm. regular card. 
So I got a good goalie there. He might be in trouble. True. And uh, Nikita Kucherov. Ah. And the hit in my pack, I got one of the exquisite collection rookies numbered out of 399, and that would be Mr. Nick Suzuki. Hmm. Um, but as uh, I noticed here on the bottom, it's got a nice little smoosh in the corner. So, oh no, my my two dollar card is now a fifty cent card, but still, it's pretty cool. It's got a, uh, it's almost like a black diamond background. So it's got that uh, light effects technology like they use for black diamond. I was gonna say it looked different. So, yeah, yeah. yeah so I if tell. you look at the background, the silver background, it's got that silvery shimmer to it. So mm-hmm. it's, I think Upper Deck calls that light effects is the name right. of that technology that they use. So that's I like cool. that car. I like actually, I like that picture. I know it's not the like the greatest picture. I just like it for some reason. I mean, he he looks like he's he's skating backwards maybe, and and I don't know, he's like. I don't know. It just looks. It, it's a, a good. It's a good shot. A center skating backwards? No. They can do that. Anyway, all right. Oh. Beat Jonathan quick. I dare you. I don't know if that's good. We'll find out. All right. So, Jacob Truba. So I match you there. We're Damn. tied in Trubas. And Johnny Goudreau. Not a goalie. Not a goalie, but it's a green one. I'll save the. We'll look at that one last. And then we got our decoy. This is what I was feeling good about. I was like, ooh, this one feels nice. It's a decoy. Another Steven Stamkos. Uh, oh, but I think the first one, other I got one was a parallel. Orange one. Yeah, the other one was an orange one. All right, we're going to have to come up with some, uh, some, some alternate criteria because I also got Jonathan Quick. Oh, no way. Yeah. Is yours the regular blue? Yeah. Oh, man. Regular blue. Are we? What is with these boxes? This is well. Let's see. Weird. Let's see who I got here. Now I'm going to use the magnifying lens. Um, hang on. He's on. Oh God, this white this white text against this blue background is really hard to read. Quinn Hug he's Quinn, Quinn Huggies. Yeah, I hear he's Quinn, pretty good. Quinn Huggies, and it's it's autographed. Are you kidding me? Holy do your crap. Eyes, do your eyes deceive you, my friend? Wow. What's that number, Dala? 99? Yeah, 99. Nice. 34 out of 99, Quinn Hughes. So I think this is the tiebreaker for that pack. <laughs> That's better than all of my packs combined. So really? I think you win. I think the game's over. So is that an Ice Premier card then? Uh, Yes, it is. It says Ice I, Premier. I don't even want to touch it anymore. I'm afraid to get my fingerprints on it now. It's like, where's a top loader when I need one? There's no patch in there. It's just uh, just, just a, it's It's on a clear back. It's a clear card. Yeah. yeah it's a clear card. And um, it's a clear card. And uh, so the autograph is on the card. And it's got the serial number. And, uh, yeah, it's printed on, like, the plastic. Okay. So so those are the um, – those are just the regular um, regular base autographs. There's 27 of them. Um, but they're all numbered out of different amounts depending on who the player is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it goes anywhere from out of 99 up to 399. So you got one of the more rare ones. Oh, that's cool. Well, I guess if I'm going to have a Quinn Hughes rookie card, that's a good one to have, other than the young gun, which I'll want anyways, just because I'm a glutton for young guns, because I like the upper deck sets the best. But I guess if I was going to have a second or just any Quinn Hugh, Hughes, uh, that would be the one to have. Or the interesting thing have. is there's only three that are numbered out of 99, mm-hmm. but you can't guess. McCarr, Hughes, and um, the other Hughes. Yep, you got it. Yeah, well, just, Quint, just a lucky guess. Quinn, Jack, and Kale. That's it. Wow. Everything else is higher. So. Hey, fourth pack. What's our criteria? We did scores. We did tallest. Do we want to pick, like, uh, best defenseman? 
Uh, we'll go by number of Norse trophies. Okay. Or okay. other awards if there's like no Norse winners, but. Yeah. But I think I go first this time, so I will. Go ahead. Okay. Jonathan Taves. One of my all. <laughs> One of my all-time favorites. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> Austin Matthews. Oh, there you go. Patrice Bergeron. Green one? Yep, green one. Okay. A blank. Hang on, I need to... I got it. I'm sorry. I got to use my... Uh, Cole Sherwood Ice Premieres. Numbered out of 999, not autographed. Okay. And uh, Nikita Kucherov. Wow. So we're getting like the same, we're getting like the same guys in like different order. And I don't think I got any defensemen in this, uh, in this, uh, is this guy a defenseman? The, the odds are higher that we would get the same base players because they are our only 50. Okay. So. I guess I guess in that case they'd be higher. So, um, which brings me to my pack, and I believe we've heard all of these names already. Maybe Mr. Eric Stahl, the mm-hmm. winner of the tallest player mm-hmm. so far. That uh, Stahl is tall. Johnny Hockey, also blue, which I believe you also had in the last pack. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had the green one, but yes. Captain Sirius, just like you pulled, only the green one. Well, I guess I'm going to be trading you that Malkin then for that uh, that that Taves. Uh... There you go. All right. Yeah. I'll just yeah. <laughs> um, here. Well, I'll do that one last. Uh, Pierre Luc Dubois. Very so, nice. There's that. Uh, I too did not get any defensemen. I believe. No. Nope. No defensemen. Uh, and I have a hit in here. Which is not one of the Hughes brothers, but it is the player that I keep pulling in almost every box or pack that I've opened this year, and that would be Philip Myers from the Flyers, autographed ice premiere, numbered out of three ninety nine. Well, you win that pack because you so, got the best hit in it. So yeah, and he is a D man. So since nobody got one, I win by default. Oh, he's a D-man. Yeah. Well, you'd win anyway. Yes. But I'm just saying that's a pretty nice card. That's all right. But like I said, every pack, every hit I get seems to be Philip Myers this year. Mm. He's he's my uh, he's my Mark Parrish of your 2003. Or <laughs> Mark Parrish. Oh yeah. my God! If it's if it's a it was a signed or jersey card. From any set from like 2000 to like 2012, I always got Mark Parrish. That was just the guy. Like, I mean, I even remember buying a hot pack, hot pack a couple years ago from a dealer, and I was gonna grab another pack, and the guy was like, "Oh, well, that might have an expired redemption." I'm like, mm, "Nah." So I grabbed like the other pack, and then it it had a it had a uh, Mark Parrish, and I was just like, "Oh man." Yeah. Last yeah. pack last pack so this this is going to be whoever has the lowest plus minus do they even have plus minus on the back i better check first yes whoever has the lowest career plus minus so lowest being closest to zero or correct so not like if they're a plus 50, we don't care about that. If they're a plus 50 and I have a negative three, then I win. Oh, so lowest. So yes. we want we want we want somebody like uh, a Mel or not Melkin, like Ovechkin, who's like, you know, had scores 80 goals and is minus 10. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Are you first or am I first? You can go first. All right. I'll go first. Oh, look. Patrice Bergeron. <laughs> I think we got the same boxes, just in like a reverse order. 
Just like um, different colors of the same guys. Austin Matthews. AM34 with the green parallel. Uh, one of those dumb things. Yeah, decoy. Uh, have we had this yet? Connor McDavid? Is that a couple hmm. first? Is that the first Connor McDavid signing? I believe so. All right. Well, there we go. So we got Connor and Miko Rantanen. Nice. Miko He's a good Rantanen. player. Yes. And oh, of course. Right. I had one more in there. I had my last hit was uh, an ice premiere numbered out of nine ninety nine of Yakov Shmirnov. You ever heard of him? In Soviet Russia. Packs open you. In Soviet Russia, box breaks you. Yeah, there you go. Um, ya- Yakov Tr- Trenin. I-, I will I will honestly say, usually I get these right. I've never heard of this guy in my life. Yakov Trenin. He is from... Bet you can't guess. He is from... Chalabin- Ch- Chalabinsk? How do you say okay. that? Chalabinsk, Russia. Okay. So... Born in 1997. Played for Milwaukee last year. Mm-hmm. So, I've never heard of that guy, but there you go. So, that that's it. And um, what were we saying? Oh, the best plus minus. So, oh, yeah. So, here's who I got real quick. I look, got... Let's look while you're looking. Claude Giroux. Hey, we haven't had him yet. Logan Couture. Haven't had him yet either. Oh, I think we got a new pack. Uh, let's see. This is an ice premiere of Joel Le... Uh, Le, Le he's with the uh, Dallas Stars. Les Perrants? Le Perrants? Oh, yeah. Joel Les Perrants, yeah. Pierre Luc Dubois. Oh, that's a dupe. And uh, Connor McDavid. Oh man, I thought I was so going to be the only Connor card. Yeah, so now we're looking at uh, uh, zero or negative for the the career. Yeah, so um, career plus minus the lowest number. Uh, we, yeah. These guys are good. No way, no way you're going to beat this one. There's no uh-huh. way. Yeah! Wow. No way. All right. the The worst one I got is the uh, rookie guy with the minus four. Minus four. (laughs) That's chump change, because I've got Mister Miko Rantanen, Mm -hmm. who has a career up through the twenty eighteen nineteen season of a minus nineteen. Wow. Here's a guy better player than that. He is. Here's a guy that plays right wing on a basically a, a now stacked Colorado team. Benefits from playing with players like McKinnon and Landeskog. I was going to say, is he on their line? line? Yeah. Yeah. So and that's why I was like, yeah, that's a good, that's a good player. This is a guy who scored 31 goals last year, almost 30 the year before, 20 the year before that. I mean, he's put up over three, basically three seasons, he's put up 129 points, Mm -hmm. but he's a minus 19. So what does that tell you? I tell you he's on the ice, probably playing defense a lot. Hmm. So there Hmm. you go. Minus 19. You're not beating minus 19. Not at all, no. Because all the guys I got here, I mean, Giroux, Kuchar, um, Dubois, McDavid, uh, they all have uh, pretty good plus minuses, like in the positive numbers, double digits at least. So this is interesting. So like we got a lot of the same players, like between our two, I'm assuming our two boxes were from the same case. So um, I, I, uh, it, it's just interesting how we both got like, I almost want to play like real, real quick. I just want to play like go fish. Right. Like, so I'll start like, do you have any Connor McDavid's? Um, yes. All I right. Do. So set him, set him off to the side. All right. Where is, oh, he's right here. Yeah. Connor, right. 
got Connor McDavid. All right. Call one out. Um, do you have any Eric Stalls? Eric Stalls. Eric Stalls. Eric Stalls. Yeah, I have. Which? Eric, I got the Eric Stall green. I have the blue one, but which, by the right. way, if you look at his plus minus, he's minus 38 career. Yeah. So there you go. So we do right, have a little stall. What else you got? Okay. We both we both have Jonathan Quick, right? Yeah. I have a green quick. Yes. Yeah. Or no, I, I have, have a regular I have a regular quick. I have the regular quick. Okay. And we both got Stamkos, right? Uh Stamkos, yep. Was yours regular or parallel? Regular. All right. I'm just I'm just I'm just curious to see just uh and then we both got Kucherov, right? Uh Kucherov. I thought I had Kucherov. Yep, Kucherov. All right. Man, these cards pick up fingerprints really easily. Yeah, I gotta put my plastic guys aside. I don't wanna get this Quinn Hughes. I've probably just devalued it already. Now it'll never get a BGS ten black holder. I didn't know we had to open these in a clean room. Yeah, I know, right? Actually, weird. I got two Stamkoses. I got the regular and I got the, the gold parallel. Did we both get um Bergeron, Patrice Bergeron? Patrice Bergeron. Patrice yeah, Bergeron. and I got P- Patrice Bergeron. All right. I know we're, yeah. we're, I'm not worried about the colors. I'm just more worried about, like, the content just for, just for yucks. And we both yeah. got Austin Matthews, yes. Uh, Austin Matthews. Mine was green, but you got a regular, so that counts. Yeah, and then uh, we both got uh, Jonathan Taves. Jonathan Taves. Jonathan Taves. We both got uh, Johnny Goudreau. Uh, yes, sir. Yep, all right. We both got uh, Truba. 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 Trudat. Uh, let's see. We both got, um, did we both get, um, what is this guy, Just Perry? Just Perry Kokanyemi? Yeah. Sure did. Yeah, all right. You got the green, I got the blue. And we both got Carter Hart, right? Carter Hart, yep. Carter Hart. Right, right there. Too bad he doesn't play in Boston, right? Right. They'd be like, yeah, that Carter Hart is something else. He's not even from Boston, he's from like. Alberta or something. No, no, no. But if he played for Boston. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'd be like that kind of hot. It's something else. All right. Matthew Barzal. Uh, yeah. Right there. Yeah, we both got that guy in like the first or first two packs. Uh, did you get Taylor Hall or Leon Dreisaitl? I did not. Okay. I got, so those guys I got are unique. And did you get uh, Evgeny Malkin? I did not. Okay, and did you get Claude Giroux? I did Giroux. not. Okay, did you get Logan Couture? No, I did not. Okay, did you get Pierre Luc Dubois? Uh, I did. You did. Okay. I did. All right. So, uh, and then obviously our hits were different. So it seems that like so you're well, out I of got, cards. You're uh, out. You're out of regular players. Yeah. So that means you have six players that I don't have, correct? One, two, three, four, five. Five players. Ooh. Yeah, uh, Couture. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 Because I got two Mark Shifley's. Ah. I got that, that cube one. Ah, uh, that's right. And okay. the regular one. So so there's two of those. I just have the pair. Mm-hmm. So then we take those out, and I have four. Mm-hmm. So you're looking at Heiskanen, Flurry, Barkov, and Rantanen. Or the unique... Guys or, in your box. Or the box. four that you didn't get in your box. Right. And the four that I got that you didn't get were Dreisaitl, Hall, Malkin, Drew, and Couture. Now, I know that we got, like, you know, maybe I got, like, the blue one, you got the green one, or vice versa, or whatever... But I, I guess when you have like a 50 card base set, you're really not going to have a lot of variety in the players that you get from box to box. However, I always found it frustrating that um, even trying to complete a base set um, when you just you get a lot of these like sometimes I like parallels and sometimes I just to me they're just kind of like filler. You know what I mean? Like they're like 
oh, I want to finish this base set, but I keep getting these darn green parallels. Well, and you look at this, so there's 25 cards in a box, right? Yep. Take away the hits. Yep. So that's five cards. So there's 20 cards that you have a possibility of getting of any cards. Plus there's one card that's a parallel in each pack. So there's five more down. Right. So essentially you've got 15 cards out of a 50 card set that you're going to have the potential of pulling. And we open two boxes and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen were basically the same player. Mm-hmm. In two boxes, <laughs> whether it was right. a parallel I mean, or a regular, were parallels still, of each other. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but still, it's kind of it's kind of interesting how that worked out. But uh, I don't know. I I like the product. I like how shiny it is in the background. I like I like that uh, kind of rainbow foil feel to it. It's I do too. Not quite mirror. It's almost mirror. Just depends on how you hold it and hit the light. No, that's uh, why the I green ones are kind of cool. That's why I thought it was a special parallel. Yeah. Because do you remember with the um, remember Opeachy Platinum when it came out, and how you had the ones that were silver, but then you had the ones that were silver, but then if you hit them in the light, yeah, they, they were the, the rainbow parallels. Yeah, yeah. and I, I like those better, obviously, because right. um, they're more colorful. And so I do like, I, you know, it's funny because like out this like shiny and foily and I say that it's, it's like done to death, but this is, this is actually pretty nice. I like, I like how the player pops off the background. I do like the green ones better than the blue ones. Why is that? I like that orange one though that you got. That's pretty cool. Did you get an orange one as well? I did not. No, but you got the cracked, or not the cracked ice, you got the... Um, I got ice cube, because today was a very good day. Well, I think this or this orange parallel only really looks cool, because the blue of Stamkos' uniform contrasts nicely with it. I think yeah. otherwise it would be maybe not as exciting. I don't know. I like that orange. I like the year that uh, Black Diamond did the orange, the orange insert pack in each box, where you got three cards that were... Orange parallel, those were cool. Well, they did those a few times, did didn't they? they? A couple years, maybe. I just traded an 0708 black diamond Peter Forsberg um, orange uh, parallel from 0708. Um, I traded it to a guy named John. He's a big fan of our podcast. I traded him this Forsberg orange black diamond parallel, and he traded me a Jonathan Taves credentials green parallel. And they were like, the card I gave him was numbered to 100. The card he gave me was numbered to 99. Seemed fair. Uh, he's a big Forsberg fan. You know, I like Jonathan Taves, so it seemed like a good trade. Sounds good to me. Yeah. You get what you I want, mean, he gets what he wants. So. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I had that. I probably had that Forsberg card. I don't know how long I had it. I might have actually gotten it in a uh, purchase. I don't remember. It just it it just just appeared it just appeared in my collection you ever have that happen where you have a card appear in your collection and you don't know why or how it just does yeah i have a whole room over here that just appeared and i don't know no, where but that some of those things from. like you probably remember when you bought that terrible towel um this one behind me yeah here uh no because i've had that since i was a kid so i have no idea where that came from i just oh okay had. I really don't know where any of my stuff came from. <laughs> wow. This is this is horrible. No, that's pretty funny because I I I have I have so very reminder. long I have very long winding backstories about how I got certain things in my collection and you're just like, nah, I don't know, it just just it was just here one day. Yeah, it was just here one day. So um getting back to our our, our box break what were we calling this a box battle or box, box battle, battle yes slash uh review um yeah i would say like i think for like if you, you get a box for around 100 bucks because i think my threshold now is like 20 bucks a pack like i think that like okay you, you get you get one hit per pack you get one parallel per pack you get um so let's see yeah because i got one two three four five um uh, hits and i got five parallels and i think the reason why i like this set um 
is because now we know that you almost never, unless you get a good hit, and I know I got a good hit, but unless oh, you yeah, get a, you unless you get a good hit, you don't make back your money on a box. It's always been a complaint of complaint of card collectors. But I look at this and I say, well, you get a couple of rookie cards, you get a jersey card, you get an autograph card, and then you get parallels of some pretty good players. So I don't know if like this Stamkos, for instance, does not seem to be numbered, but it is a parallel and it looks like it was one per box. So, I mean, I feel that like in a way, this is a set where you could probably make back some of your money if you bought like four or five boxes, kept the cards you wanted, said, you know, I don't care about these parallels. I mean, someone's going to pay extra for a green parallel. You know what I mean? Because if there's 50 base cards and you only get four green parallels per pack, I mean, that means that like, so like this Couture, right? Or maybe he's not the greatest example. Like, let's say like uh, Goud- Goudreau, right? I'd say he's maybe a little more popular right now, um, especially he plays in Canada, right? I would think that somebody would pay a premium for this because you're only going to get one of these in every 12 or 13 boxes, this particular parallel. And you're going to get only this particular parallel, one in every 50 boxes, if yeah. that, because you didn't those even are, get that one, you got a different parallel. Yeah, those are, the orange are one out of six packs. So you basically, you don't even get okay. one orange per box. Obviously, because I didn't. Right. But so the I, ice the ice cube ones are more rare, and I did get one of those. Those are one out of forty. So yeah, that's nice, right? And I feel that like, see, I mean, a long time ago, I gave up on trying to obviously get every single card from every single set or every single card from one set, right? Like, I knew a guy many years ago who was trying to build the entire 2012-13. Opeachy set and that was the year that I bought that case so he emailed me and he said crazy as it sounds I want every sticker every parallel oh he's doing a master set he was doing a master set and so he wanted like all my parallels that I didn't want I mean and he bought them off of me and I you know I cut him a great deal but the point was is I mean yeah I invested 500 in a case and it was a low-end product like Opeachy but still there was somebody who wanted the parallel cards that I did not want. Right. You know, and that that might be a unique example. But if you, you know, if you look around, you're going to find somebody who wants that card that you want, right? I mean, um, everybody collects somebody. And then if it's a popular player, you know, it's going to probably be easier to move. Right. No, you're right. I mean, you got to find the right person, the right, you know, just like anything. You find the right buyer. Then, you know, you never know. Which you, brings me to my next point. Anybody wait. watching this, if you saw anything that you want from what I pulled, let me know. Leave a comment. Like and yeah. subscribe. Tell like, your friends. Whatever, whatever you, whatever you need to do. You know, if, if anybody's interested in Yakov Shmirnov and his rookie card, by all means, reach out because I got so, it covered. Uh, let's say on a five point scale or a five puck scale with five pucks being um, awesome and zero pucks being terrible and one pucks being a waste of time and three being, you know, average. I think I'd put this at about four, four and a half. It's, it's pretty good. It, it's pretty good. It's not what I normally collect, but I feel like there's enough upside in this product that like if I was going to say, you know what, screw it, I'm going to put together a base set, try to get a few um, hits, and then try to part with the cards that I don't want, like the parallels, I'd feel okay about this. You know what I mean? I feel like with the 50-card base set, it's pretty finite to put together. Um, there's obviously some good rookie cards you can get. I mean, obviously, I, sh- I got hit by lightning um, in that case, but like, um, you know, even still, um, I feel like there's enough decent players in the set that if you pull a decent card and you don't want it, you could sell it and get some money back. And then it's not just, you know, paying, you know, $300 for a box and then like, you know, getting $15 worth of cards. Yeah. And, but again, it, it, it's the gamble. What do you hit? You hit one of the Hughes brothers. You're probably doing pretty good. Mm-hmm. You hit Kiel McCarr, you're doing pretty good. Mm-hmm. You hit Joel Farabee. Well, 
Good luck finding the Joel Farabee super collector. I'm sure he's out there, or she. Well, hey, now, to be fair, there's a Carter Hutton super collector. So, like I said, everybody collects somebody. True. That is true. There's an Eric, there's an Eric Tangrady super collector, too. <laughs> I still like that guy. Yeah, that's okay. You know? He's going to make it one day. He, he was there. He's going to make it one day. Make it back. Yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of players do. I mean, you 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 know, you see guys that play in the minors for a number of years and then they come back. We'll Especially see. with expansion next year or the year after. We shall see. All right. So I give this I give this a I give this a solid 4. Maybe 4 and a half. I'm kind of leaning towards 4 and a half. I'm not I'm not like super enamored with it, like oh, this is my favorite set ever. But I, this is this is a set I would buy more boxes of. I did enjoy that break. I did like getting, uh, I you know I like the way the the base cards look. It's a finite enough set to put together, and you know the the hits were enticing. I think, and like I said, there's enough in it that you could probably part with some of it and make back some of your money. So it's not just like. Spending, you know, hundred dollars and like I said, getting eight dollars worth of cards. Yeah, I can get on board with that, but I'm gonna go a little bit lower. I'm mm-hmm. gonna give this like a three and a half. Okay. And only because I like the ice of old where all the cards were the acetate see through. I think those were probably my favorite. Um now that the the see through kind of ice as you would call it, um, or since they're just the ice premieres, it does make it a little more special for the rookie cards. Um, but again, I like to, I like to see the, even the base cards be spruced up like that. Um, you know, hundred bucks for 25 cards. You gotta be able to pull. And if you're only going to get five hits, you're looking at 20 bucks a hit. Well, your, uh, your chances are, not very high. Yes, you can go and make some of your money back. You're not going to make all of it, that's for sure. Um, I'm not in this for that, obviously. I don't think either of us are. But uh, you know, I, I I do like the design. I think it's I think it's nice. I do like what they did with changing that background and making it the different foil. I wish there was more orange because I like that orange. But uh, yeah, I think I would give it a three and a half. Just my own personal. Okay, so three and a half from you, four and a half from me. But overall, a, a fun break, uh, a nice looking product, um, nice looking set of cards, uh, some some potential. So uh, you know, some potential for getting some good rookie cards or autographs. I do, you know what? I will say that too. I do like the one autograph per box. I do like that it's uh, hard signed on the card. Um, I think if you're going to pay that much yeah, for that's a. Good box of cards you're gonna you should get that that should yeah, be the. i agree no um, that's good that that's definitely good to be able to get the one autograph at least one autograph in a box that's um you i think collectors expect that for that price point mm-hmm. all right well that's uh i guess that's it then so um thank you for watching our video please leave a comment either on the blog or on the YouTube channel page. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe because we're going to do more videos. And then also we have our podcast, which is now available on YouTube as well as other podcast providers like uh, Apple Music, uh, sorry, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, um, Spotify, uh, um, and all the other <laughs> all the other podcast providers whose names escape me, but they're out there and we're on it. Check, check the website. They're all on there. We have the list. This is true. Yeah, we do have a list on, on the website. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.